looking to get a data analyst role at JP Morgan or another bank? Well, this SQL question is for you. I'm gonna jump on my computer and let's solve this together. So this is considered medium difficulty. Your team at JP Morgan is launching a new credit card. You're asked to estimate how many cards you'll be issued in the first month. Before you can answer this question, you'll wanna get some perspective on how the new credit card launches typically do in the first month, okay? Write a query that outputs the name of the credit card and how many cards were issued in its launch month. Okay, so put that there. Name the credit card. How many cards were issued? Launch month is the earliest record in the monthly cards issued table. Order the results from biggest amount issued. Okay, that seems fairly simple on here. Have issue month, issue year, card name, and issued amount. So partition by the card name we rank the different issue months by month and also year just in case they have some tricky cases that they throw at us and then from a width statement we select all the other information honestly it seems pretty easy so let's write it so first thing i would want to do is we have our select and we're going to select card name as well as the let's see issued amount so let's go over here we'll drop this a line and we'll drop this a line as well and here is we're going to put our rank so we're going to rank these specific rows we're going to do over and we're going to partition by this card name so partition, partition by card name order by and we should have issue your first followed by issue month. And that's just in case like you have someone that starts at November or December and they go into the new year. If we just did it by issue month, that January would be the first month when they started in November. So that's why we need to have both of those there and then partition by card name. So that way this can be rank one and this could be a rank one from there. We're just gonna put a from, and we're gonna do monthly cards issued. And let's just run this first. We're gonna say this is like monthly rank or something like that, monthly rank. And let's run this code, make sure it works before we do anything else. And let's put a comma there. And you can see how that is working properly. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Unranked's fine because we're not going to have any specific ties on issue months unless there's an error with the database. So now what we need to do is just grab this one right here, this one right here, order it so this one shows up first and this one shows up second. So to do that, we could do a subquery. I'm going to put this in a width state statement. So with, I'm going to say monthly rank also as a monthly ranking, just so they're a little bit different as and then we'll throw these in here like that let's tab that over well not the from but let's at least tab all that over once let's tab all this over that's a little more readable and we're going to select our card name we're also going to select our issued amounts over here drop those down as well we got some good formatting. So those are the only two that we need to have over here, right? From monthly ranking. And then what we need to do is have our where. So where monthly rank equals one. And then we're gonna order by our issued amount. And since we want the highest first, that's gonna be a descending. So DESC at the very end. Let's format this a little bit better because this code isn't super clean and you can see how that works. And let's run it. So Sapphire Reserve at the top, Great Flex here at the bottom. Let's submit this code. And it's been accepted. So real quick, how I did this once again, we're using monthly cards issued. We're gonna grab the name and amount and we're gonna rank all these rows because we need to do this partition by we can just rank specifically the specific card and then we order by year and issue month so we can get the first one directly. Then we just grab the name and issued amount from this uh, because we have a width statement. We had a clause on this where where monthly rank is one. This asks for the first month. 
and then ordered by issued amount descending. So that way I smelt showed first in that final result table. Hope you're able to solve the SQL query with me. If you did, make sure to subscribe as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. By the way, I have a video from Stripe right over here. Learn how I solved this hard SQL question.